here at the Horizon finishing first event in Quickborn, just north of Hamburg, I actually run into a person, uh, ran into a person that I have not met in person before. This is uh, Sven Binder, and uh, Sven Binder is uh, is a very interesting gentleman. We made a film from the company he currently works for, Sent Moments. I can't remember where it is. It is in the Frankfurt area, or no? Uh, Sent Moments is taking part in the southern part, so really around Munich, and we have a second facility a little bit far away uh, from Munich where we're doing all of our books. So even further south, right? Than yes. Frankfurt, right? Yes. So Sven, it's so good to see you. Uh, you are here at. Uh, uh, I mean, this is you are into computers and workflow automation. Or this, why in a binding uh, showroom? The interesting stuff is um, that even if you don't see it from the first part, that a lot of uh, things have changed. So we saw before, uh, before that Icelink have new steps, and we already use them um, for a longer time and experiencing with uh, with all these JDF functions because this is the future. We need more information from the machines, and we need to give our information into the machine to see what's going on on the shop floor. So even if the machine is looking the same like years ago, but the, 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 the machine talking is going on and on. Uh, is, it a, is it an exaggeration to say that you love workflow automation? Definitely. That's automation. I think uh, what we can see here with robots, that will be the, the next step. I'm not sure if I want to go as fast as that because I even like people around machines. But I li like that people have the time to take care of the machines. And what people really like, if everything is, is set and done. So if they're coming in the morning, they can see what's happening. And that all the things they maybe don't like, to do a little tweak here, a little tweak there. This is automation for me, not always with robot arms. But um, when you look at it, I mean, there's a lot of, some of the vendors talk about that it's because uh, of it's difficult to get this, the skilled labor. Uh, some is talking about that it's becoming more profitable because labor cost is increasing. There's a lot of reasons for doing it, but there is also like passion to see how technology actually works, right? I definitely see that. So it's not only me, it's, it's the whole team. So whatever we get, it's, it's like a new toy that we get. So, and we play with it. So, and normally and when, we, when we're playing with that for some days, we're just asking the vendors, okay, but we can see that there's maybe a way to do it a little bit better. Is it possible that we can use this if we can do that? So a lot of our machines uh, have little tweaks there that make it easier for the people. And it's, it's like a game. So that we really like to make every machine a little bit better. <laughs> uh, when uh, we did a film from, from uh, Sent Moments, uh, uh, it was because you're using InputStrip. Now you men mentioned IceLink here from Horizon. Uh, how do you see the connection between all the, I mean, one thing is that we have the JDF and JMF for connecting things but is there a good collaboration between the technology and the standards or how is that? I think it could be better so this is what, what I'm, I'm fighting for and I'm talking to all these people because everybody is looking for an, a little island solution I'm very happy about their solution and I think my job is always to bring them together um, by the purpose to get and have an easier day so um, if we're using all this data to get an overview of the day and we can see like if it comes to book that I have a schedule for that day for 1000 books so the machine is saying I saw that book I see that book and in the end of the day maybe five books are missing I don't have to look for them. I just reproduce them on the same day and they just go out with the other books without any other stuff that I have to, to look for these or I have to, look, to, to ask people. We just see how it goes on. And this is a connection in the future we have to build. It's not right there, but it's close. I think it's fun when you mention a thousand books as an example because I mean, for uh, a lot of printing companies, a thousand books doesn't sound much um, like much, but it's thousand individual books, right? It, it would be even more, but thousands, you know. Yeah, but I mean, all of them are like yeah, unique, right? Yeah. That's always the yeah, thing. Yeah. So, and um, the other thing, when, when we look at our books, it's always a discussion about barcodes. So when, when I came in, I talked to a lot of people, and they're always making fun about me because I like the data matrix code. So and even this is a small step, um, but for some machines, it, it is not normal to go into data matrix, to have all that information that you can put in, to have it as small as possible, and the best thing that you just hide it um, after gluing, that you just have a small scan in the end. And 1000 is always um, the first step that you do. I can remember when we do the first 1000 cards and I can remember when we do the first 1000 books and it's a smile because it's a game that you reach that goal on one day. So the bridging between software and hardware, is that growing or becoming better and easier or is it still like, as you say, islands in the, in the ocean? 
Um, it, I think the people are more open to talk. Um, but um, when you say, when you ask them about, okay, can we have an API? Because yeah, you know, um, if they, we have, they, they think you talk about an IPA, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So let's go out on a pub. But the thing is, um, if you are more, more flexible if you can do what you want. Because a lot of times you get final solutions um, on on the screen and say, okay, this is what we get. And then you're asking, yeah, but um, we need the data from the past. We need the data from last. Oh, we missed that point. So. Um, I think, but everybody is waking it up because if you're looking around in the industry, you saw a lot of companies now talking about, okay, we are collecting data and we help you with that data. And a lot of them are very open to talk about, okay, what is your case? What would you do with these data? And maybe in the future we have all these API and leaving maybe JDF or whatever all behind and have a free world of data. Um, last question, Sven. Um, when I look at, at uh, I mean, everybody's talking about labor shortage in the industry. I think it comes much down to the thing that uh, the, the printing industry is not as sexy as it was in the 60s and 70s and 80s maybe. I'm just wondering what you talk about is computers where the output can be anything. Is it easier to recruit skilled people when it comes to the workflow and the automation part? I think you have to fascinate them. So basically, when you're talking about print, I would be the same. And the thing is, I started in the advertising part of, of printing. So it was not as sexy for me that was printing. But now, um, as you maybe saw before on, on the film we did before, we have a laser, we have foil on, on the cards. And the thing is, everybody get impressed by that. If you just give them a card without foil, it's like, okay, that's nice. But if it's it was really shiny, and then you do a laser card around, the laser is always where you get the people. So if you bring them next to the laser and they just have a, 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 a shape they never saw before and they didn't even see how fast it go. I think print could be sexy again um, and you have to bring the passion close to the people. And if you have a whole team um, that is really into it, the other will just follow. I mean, when I, when I now meet you in person, you are so passionate, so you must be easy to attract the people to work for you, right? Um, hopefully, yes. So um, normally, um, it is every person in the company I had the first uh, speech with. Normally, I don't look what they done in the past. So there must be something um, that fit into our team. And it, it helps us to grow up with these people. And a lot of people even start by packing in our company, but it's not uh, where they stop. So a lot of people afterwards say, okay, this is interesting. I heard that machine, or they show me that card. Or even the thing is, if you start with packing, you see all the products and you get interested in that product. So it, it happened quite often that people starting on a lower level but are so interested in machines or in how something is produced and then they run into another room and yeah, bam, it's Christmas season, peak season and they're on that machine. Fantastic. Thank you, Sven. Thank you. Thank you.